Welcome to Acute Mania Live. Hi, Bo. Hey, what's happening, man? That there was some Harmon. That was that was incredible. That's our boy Harmon. That's the hated with uh, your revolution. I love that. Harmon's going to be on as a guest here pretty soon. So I told him that I would schedule him once I quit going out of town. Those drums were up in your chest and your face. He did really good on Golly. that recording. Arsenic Kitchen from Phoenix, Arizona is on tonight. Welcome, guys. It's nice to have you. Yo, Hi. Hello. Nice to be here. Was, I think we need to do this. <laughs> like to thank the people even in the, the cheap, cheap seats. seats. Yeah, up, at the, up in, the, uh, <laughs> up in the, the gallery. Is that what they call it? The gallery? Up in the gallery? Balcony. The bal oh, the balcony. Yeah. That's right. Welcome, guys. It's nice to have you. Um, what's uh, what's happening? What's the weather like there first? What is the weather like? Sometimes I start with the weather. It's warm. It's, it's 70 warm. degrees. Nice and comfortable. It is pretty much. It's probably 70 degrees. It's starting we, to finally get back to being hot again. 81. It is 81 oh, degrees. That's, that sucks ass. It's, it's been it's been so. It, OK, West Virginia weather. It's I don't know if you guys have been to the east or this part of the country. He has. But, Springtime sucks and fall time sucks because it's it's springtime. It, we're just getting out of the winter time, you know, and, and it's I, I hate cold weather for one thing, but you know it starts to get warm and then all of a sudden a snowstorm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and it's just like it's it's a tease. It, it's a tease that I don't like. I, sometimes I like to be teased, but not with weather. Not with you weather. know. Not, I don't like I don't like weather teases. But, I mean, the other day I I, I wore shorts. We had band practice, and I was wearing shorts. Some of the other guys had shorts on, too. And you walk outside, have a cigarette, and what? You don't you don't wear shorts to band practice? No. Ooh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm 52, man. I'd get laughed at. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts right now. <laughs> yeah, but you guys have to because it gets, it gets deathly hot there, in, like in the summertime, though, right? Like, deathly yeah. hot. It's, Solid 120, 125 sometimes. Yep. But you don't it's have humidity. Crazy. You don't wear sweatshirts all year long. But yeah. you guys not have humidity all year. You don't have humidity though, right? Not really. No. Yeah. Okay, so oh, like 12, so like like here we have humidity, so it could be like you could look at the thermometer and say eighty two. Like, all right, that's comfortable. You go outside, you can't breathe because it's yeah, like <laughs> they do the feels like temperature. It feels like ninety five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, why can't it just be freaking ninety five? You know. So, yeah, I can imagine West Virginia is much different than Arkansas in that vein because it's just during the summer times, it's just sticky and disgusting all the time. It's rough. So you, yes. Your shirt goes. Yeah. <laughs> and you have, and you have swamp ass and all that stuff. Yeah, it's just horrible. Yeah. Oh, we get that here. Swamp ass? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do. I grew up in Colorado, so the weather's equally bipolar there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Did you live in like the, like the Denver area? Uh, Durango, like southwest area, so like okay. not as bad, but just as cold. Yeah, it's not quite as much snow. I had a cousin that lived in Denver, Denver for a little bit, and and you know she would she would get a hold of us in like mid April or late April and say, "We just we just got another winter storm warning." I'm like, "Ha you know, like that's that sucks. You know, we've been gone, we've been done with that for a while. We're right? camping. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do, do, now, no, okay, do, do people on that side of the while. country, do people like in California uh, or Arizona, or anywhere in that side of the country. Do you guys pay attention to the, the stupid Groundhog Day prediction thing? Probably not. Uh, nah. There's people that do, but yeah. I haven't. Aside from the movie, I know nothing about Groundhog Day. <laughs> I don't care. Well, I mean, I mean that is pretty accurate, but but I mean, like, but the, the Groundhog is not accurate because there's there's two of them. Or if you look it up, there's 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 quite a few actually. And there's so, one for every like county, basically. Well, there's one for West Virginia that's that's pretty popular. Pretty, uh, it's a rival with the Pennsylvania one. Because, yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania. It's like a Groundhog one, rivalry. One in West Virginia. That'd be a cool uh, name for an album, like a punk album. Groundhog rivalry. Groundhog. Or name actually. <laughs> Groundhog. Hey, we're Groundhog rivalry. Have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. We should do that. Anyway, but yeah, there's we have French Creek Freddy. The French Creek, French Creek Freddy. Freddy, and then in Pennsylvania, it's, it's Puxatawney Phil. Phil, yeah. Oh, I've right. heard of Phil before. Phil, <laughs> Phil's very inera inaccurate, but but they both predicted the same shit this year, so an, an early spring, which we're not fucking getting. No. You know? Yeah. Wires, you know? Just like weather people. 
I guess it's it's kind of like it's pretty simple out here. Like once it hits a certain time of the year, it's like it's going to start slowly getting back to what it was in summertime. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. summer for eight months out of the year. And then the rest of the year is just like slowly That's... getting back to cold, cold for like a month and back to normal, you know? OK, so how cold, though? How cold How cold would you say is cold? It gets, it gets pretty cold. Get cold in like the dead of winter, like January, December. It gets like, uh, I don't know, like I think this year the lowest it got was like 17. Uh, yeah. one night it's pretty cold yeah it, it has, like, it's dead dead of night. Yeah. like it's it's totally true that whole like trope of like you know it's super hot in the day and then it drops super cold at night in the desert time especially in uh, the winter time that's mm -hmm. like drastic yeah. like the highs will be like 60 but it'll go all the way down to like 17 20 or something yeah. Yeah. For some reason. but like it's been below freezing maybe three nights yeah. the whole year now can you go like uh uh, you know, I've had a few bands from California, you know, that they can, it's, it's, they can go like surfing during the day. And then later on in the day, they can go snow skiing. Can you guys do that? There? Like, is it elevation change that much to where you could do that? And um, kind of some, yeah. Like days like today, like it's 81 right now, but the low is like 40. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, pretty drastic not to mention if you like wanted to go swimming right now like you probably could if you were used to like some like decently cold water but if you were to go up to flagstaff right now if it's like kind of you know if there's weather up there it's Flagstaff's probably gonna snow yeah. Yeah. yeah it's probably yeah, gonna be higher up. Yeah. yeah 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 so like are the hours, are yeah. the do the beaches offer good surfing there in arizona <laughs> well oh yeah that's great <laughs> i mean just yeah. in actually back. we have a, a wake pool or like a, a tide you know the thing like a wave pool wave yeah. yeah, and we're getting we another one, one I guess. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a big pool yeah. of people just going yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. If you throw your surfboard you at him. I forgot I had Bo back on the show tonight. It, it's been a long time since you co-hosted. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. He was supposed to be here Monday, but he, he flaked. So I totally my cat fell was here. asleep. I was, I, I, you invited me, and I remembered I had, I, a very, all the time. I had a very important foot scraping I had to get to. <laughs> well... <laughs> We have to do that to Lucas Weekly. <laughs> Parmesan cheese, I guess. Have you seen that? Have you seen that meme? Oh, there, there's a meme oh, out there that, that's there's a meme out there that that shows like a person's foot and somebody's scraping like with a file and it's in, and it has a plate of spaghetti underneath of it. Oh, <laughs> tell me when, darling. I still like Parmesan that's cheese good. though. Mm. You tell me when, darling. <laughs> I like the one with the little. That's the funny. Little slit in the the callus and there's like tic tacs shoved in it ah what ah, that's <laughs> disgusting oh, we might have to God. do a disgusting segment this is awesome yeah <laughs> oh, but, or a cringe a cringe segment yeah we're we're mm. unfortunately pretty that's okay weird. with all that so you know yeah half, half well, of our we all live here in the band house and half of our existence <laughs> is trying to see how uncomfortable we can make each other yeah yeah 100 <laughs> yeah well, oh go ahead and go ahead and and, and, uh, and tell the viewers and, and me some things that we don't know about Arsenic Kitchen. Tell tell us a little bit about you and and what you guys do musically. And first and, of all, you don't so, want to eat their cooking or Parmesan cheese. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't ever eat us <laughs> cooking. They're they're eating. Their cooking will turn your fingernails purple. And then oh, the, ar the arsenic. Okay, got you. How did you guys come um, up with that name? Start with that, and then tell us about you. <laughs> uh, marijuana. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, it really wasn't right. <laughs> it wasn't anything special and i've always wanted to have a cool uh thing for it but it's it was pretty much uh just one of those things it just <laughs> popped into my head we were talking about rat poison and i was like what about this two of my favorite like, bands when i was no. in the 80s what rat poison right yep. yeah Oh my god! We but... wanted to call it Rat Poison, and then somebody was like, "So that's those are, those are two band names already. <laughs> so probably don't do that." Uh, me and a buddy were going to do a cover band called Butt Sex, it, Butthole Servers and Sex Pistols. <laughs> nice. We it, 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 it didn't. We didn't do that, obviously. What yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, great. it still could be done, you know. Um. Yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, some stuff uh, you want to know about us. I don't know. We we've, yeah, we've been playing for like you know three years now as this iteration of the band, and uh, ba basically just trying to uh, branch out of the state of Arizona now that we've gotten our you know our reps in for local music. You know. Yeah, we uh, did two tours last year, real small ones that we booked ourselves and learned that we don't want to book tours ourselves anymore. <laughs> um, and so we're, we're doing little things now. I mean, it's just, you know, like we I I booked the first one and we started a year out. Um, and 
it was just like the mismanagement of a lot of lower level uh, venues and promoters that don't get back to their emails until about a month before you actually want to play the show. And then they're like, oh, sorry, we're booked already. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, it, is um, it still trending where they don't pay after you played? Like, like they, they promise a certain amount and then... So it has happened to me. Play. It happened to me a lot when I was younger because I, I was in a touring band when I was like 18. And they were like, oh, you guys are stupid kids. We can just kind of treat you however we want. And they would have us open for these big bands and then not pay us. And was like, I know you have the money. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're going. like, you, yeah, like you're dumb kids. You don't, you're not going to do anything about it. Um, but we don't really have that much anymore. We get, you know, promised some guarantees and stuff. And then they're like, oh, sorry, guys, we didn't make as much money as we thought. Yeah. We can only give you this much. But like, we've never just been straight up screwed over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's grateful well, that's for great. that. We're like, you know, we're pretty understanding, you know, when it comes to especially like the local venues that it's like, it's not like the, it's not all your fault all the time that stuff goes wrong if it does. So it's, it's not a big deal. They probably yeah. treat you a lot better than being on the road where places don't know you, you know, places that you, you, you played before around town that, that, that yeah, I mean, some of the, some of the local venues are amazing to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Um, but well, we you can name drop some. Go ahead and name drop some. The, the best ones <laughs> so you the, like. Yeah, my favorite ones are. I love the Rebel, the Rebel Lounge, which used to be called the Mason Jar. Um, That's a cool name. Famous for Nirvana playing there a couple times. Oh yeah. And um, there's another one called the Nile that's been a theater for a hundred and one years now, and it's. Well, a, I saw that on Google Earth point. actually. Yeah. When Shadow Git was on, yeah. When Shadow Git was on, I think we talked about that on the show. I think. I have to go back and see. What, what, like what's that. that theater look like? That's that's awesome. I, I, uh, it's, a big brick box. Yeah, seriously. Much. It's yeah. just a big brick box. Like a, like, <laughs> no, it's, no. It's so almost it's, like it's a standing room only venue. And oh, it's nice. literally just, it's just a big open like brick room with a stage at the end of it. Yeah. They, I think they've got it now. Bit, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. They, they, I mean, you know, it's like when you think of old, uh, it's a metal venue. So it's it's definitely not like a theater. Yeah. Right. It's, yeah. But so they don't have like sit down shop. shows then. No, no. It's right. it's definitely more of a, a moshing sort of vibe. Um, it's they've really done cool. some soundproofing up up on the top. And, you know, it's like they, they put some time into it for sure. Um, There's a lot of places. I, Pittsburgh's about, what, two hours, hour and a half, two hours from here. So I, I'm actually going there Friday and then again next Wednesday. But, um, there's a lot of a lot of theaters, you know, in the city and and you know, on the outskirts of the city that that um, that they have turned into big name venues. Like like Enclave is is one of them. Uh, Roxy and Theater is an, another one. I I saw. Um, oh gosh, who was that? Uh, Thursday. You ever heard of Thursday? Thursday's an older older mm -hmm. band. And, uh, we played, my generation band. Aristotle's <laughs> band. We played at uh, Mr. Yeah. Small's. That used to be a church. Yeah, it's, actually, it's that's where grand, I'm going. That's where I'm going. Uh, that's where I'm going tomorrow night. Is uh, Mr. Smalls? It's really it's cool. A, man. It's, it's a huge. really, really old Catholic church. It's massive, and that's there's so actually cool. they have the theater upstairs or downstairs, and then upstairs is the fun house at Mr. Smalls, which is where I'm going tomorrow, which is another like a smaller spot. They have, they have a and, skate park there too. I mean, the place is just there's a big like garden in the center of all of this. I guess which was like where the the minister like meditated or whatever. But it's it's now the smoking area. <laughs> <laughs> that works. But it's a it's a great place. I mean, they do. Well, and the green room show. area, there's like I've never been there. Different floors of so living you, space. I do have green room access tomorrow, though. I have backstage access tomorrow. Nice. I I am at that caliber finally. I think. Woo! And at, and at the Hard Rock next week. Oh, I said back backstage there. I think I just Which invited myself. What is it? Which Hard Rock? Uh, the Hard Rock Pittsburgh. Hard Rock Cafe Pittsburgh. Oh, that's cool. Nice. nice. It's uh, it's the Broken View. Uh, it's it's part of their tour. Um, uh, Three Leagues to Rome from Pittsburgh was on the show. They actually played on the show, and uh, uh, Alyssa from Pittsburgh. I think that's there might be one more. I can't remember, but but yeah, their Three Leagues gave me a. Uh, they mailed me my ticket, and they said you have ac backstage access. I was like, yes, awesome. That's what I'm talking about. So I'll be there with my gimbal. Bothering everybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a member yeah. of the press. I'm a member of the press. I don't know. See the badge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at the badge. Look, showing everybody on your way. Yeah. I paid for this badge <laughs> on. I paid for this badge on Vistaprint. You know. <laughs> um, what do you guys say we we listen to uh, one of your tracks? Sure, All is fair. Let's do that. 
All right. The, the, the title of this song is is probably one of the longest titles I've ever needed to read on the show, and I can't even see all of it because it's. But uh, it's all all is fair in love and in, all is fair in love and war. But this is neither, and you. That's all I can see. You're a bitch. That's the last. That's end. right. That's what <laughs> yeah. Now, now this 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 song. Okay, I, I when I first heard of you and, and you know sent you the message to be on the show and stuff, I. I just kind of heard the song, you know, mm -hmm. then what was it uh, a few days ago? I, I really, really listened to the song and read the lyrics and I was like, holy shit. And remember I, I, I sent, I sent you that, that email back and I was like, Oh my God, I don't want to talk about, it's not one of those things to talk about on the show. So I'm not going to do that. But, but yes, it's, it's, is that what it's about? Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm not really divulging Absolutely. anything to the viewers, but I'll let you guys talk about what it's about. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'll let Lucas wrote uh, the the lyrical stuff, so I'll let him talk a little bit. Yeah, about it. like I I had uh, I was I'm probably in a really bad I was in a really bad place in my life at the time, and I decided to uh, write it specifically about trying to like remove toxic people from your life and all that. Um, I I had a person that I, I wanted to uh, you know hopefully erase from my life if I could, just because they they were really like toying with me and yeah. uh playing with my emotions and all that so that's where this song kind of came from uh, you can definitely feel it and I, at least i hope people do as well when they hear it so yeah it's it really hit home so yeah it, it it's working it, it worked the, your lyrics really work on this one Hell yeah. and, and the music's phenomenal also let's take a listen to it uh bo you say the title <laughs> all, is, all is fair in love and war but this is neither and you're a bitch i knew you were gonna remember that part yeah okay Check it out. Is that you again, my darling? I think it's time we end this swiftly. Am I the only one that's listening to my side of this calamity? It's quite obvious you are drawn your blood. You would have us both on fire. After all this fighting, I'm tired of you. Yeah, you're a liar! Lucky I did 
time to bring yourself back to my front door Yeah, the steers say it's pretty fake When all the signs you hold point the other way Oh my god! <laughs> Every time I hear it, it's just like it's that was so good. stupid tight. Jeez! Oh, <laughs> record that DIY, Holy or did crap. you go to a studio and do that stuff? Because I mean, you can hear every... half and half. So you can hear everything. We did all of the. Um, we do most of our our guitar and bass DI at home, and then we send it to our producer. But we we always go to a studio and do the vocals and drums. Drums are tough to do. I know that. Yeah. Drums are yeah. tough. Get those really nice. <laughs> you can hear every single hi hat and, and just everything, and especially you know with with uh, with with headphones on. You know you can hear all that stuff. Your mm -hmm. lyrics go uh -huh. in the music. It works well together. Like you, you work the mood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like like it's like okay maybe sure. I, maybe you're okay you're not that bad oh there you go again you. <laughs> yeah like, i don't i think this like i said like the song kind of came from a place of like anger and resentment and all that and not to mention like a lot of our early stuff like in the past you know three years or so up till now i i just kind of like that's how i focus on stage is to try and get into like that like kind of like i don't know controlled chaos kind of focused thing and that's how it comes out through the lyrics too so yeah you know it's it's a good uh, it's a good match i think <laughs> that's kind of what the music kind of like what you were saying that's what the music was to me when i when i wrote all the guitar parts and was like structuring it is like the the feeling you have when you go through something like that where it's like you know it's really terrible and then it's like oh it's not too bad and then it's really terrible and it's that's not too bad and, is that you know. how is how does your process usually work when you when you guys write songs together who 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 lays something out first is there music first or is there yeah. lyrics first it's so we all um lucas doesn't play a whole lot of anything but he he writes on the computer uh the same as the rest of us do and so jonathan plays uh all of the the main instruments and so do i so we usually one of us will write like the basis or the idea for a song and then we'll all work together to structure it and like make it more what what fits all of us mm -hmm. um sometimes we don't need to do a whole lot somebody comes with a song and we're just like all right let's do that yeah and then sometimes we work around and you know things have gotten like a little bit uh different over the last you know since especially jonathan's been in the band because it was originally just you know me and blake for a long time and yeah. us just kind of shooting ideas back and forth between us two yeah and uh just recently we've been you know trying to come up with some more material for a future thing so i won't say too much but we basically oh, come on come on you get, able you're, you're, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a therapy <laughs> platform you're 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 more than welcome to, to talk about it and, and well we're and basically how, like how does it make you feel yes exactly how does it make you feel it's it's really cool because you know we we definitely i don't think any of us have had experience writing i mean other than jonathan and with like maybe a, a few of his old bands and stuff like i don't think any of us have had a lot of experience like writing with so many people it's usually yeah. just one person or two people at a time and uh, i've always been the, the creative the only one that wants to write yeah yeah or like yeah, has, the, yeah. has the material yeah it was new for him whenever i met him you know for for me to want to show him song ideas and stuff because you know he was hit the sole you know songwriter for his past projects and stuff so it's like he he got used to it and we got really good at working you know songs together and everything like trying to write stuff together it's uh been really nice and then you know jonathan in the mix it's really great we actually we were just, you know, coming up with some ideas and uh, it turns out, you know, Jonathan's 
like quite literally on the same exact wavelength that that we are and like every idea that we have so far it's just like everything is so naturally like meshing together it's awesome so yeah jonathan and i accidentally wrote the same song (laughs) (laughs) that was a funny accident yeah we uh there's some things there's some things that that uh that you put out recently that that um that's awesome. Like, I mean, even things that I found just, just browsing through, you know, your, your catalog of, of things, uh, you did write in too by, by tool. You covered that <laughs> song that, I mean, I'm not a big fan of covers, but that's a tough song. I mean, anything by tool or perfect circle or, or anything by anybody else is really tough to do and pull it off enough to, to release it and be comfortable mm-hmm. releasing it. Uh, let's see, right in two, there was, uh, what three Libras was on there. Um, you just did a Chevelle. You just did Chevelle recently. Which one did you do? Yes. Chevelle? I forget. Face to the floor. Yeah. Yes. I mean, like, like is that is that? I would I would assume that that's some influence. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so, um, maybe not as much on. I I can't really speak for how the other guys feel. I mean, I know they both like Chevelle, but mm-hmm. they've been like top ten biggest influences for me forever. Yeah, I mean, uh, we we all i think agree on like the covers that we've been like we we all yeah. enjoy the covers that we put out and it's more of like a you know we're we know that we can't just constantly pump songs out that are originals so we put the the covers out as like something fun for the fans and um hopefully and gosh, that gets pulled off like that you. it's it sounds i mean right in right in two sound for example sounds really it's really good i mean it's from a fan I, I standpoint it also alludes to your influences which Fans I'd, love that. Everlong is on right, the one. Yeah. We want to know what made you you, you know? Mm-hmm. I agree okay, so the, the, the album Acoustic, A.K. Acoustic, uh, <laughs> that, one's, that one's a lot of covers or all covers? So there's a A side and a B side, and the A side is uh, original acoustics, and then the B side is uh, covers. So I think it's seven originals and six covers. Yeah. Wow. Everlong. That was kind of like the yeah, the last him. thing that me and him did, just us two. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. That that was before Jonathan, I believe, was even. You may did we release it while you were in the band? But like, I was like a month. I was a month into the band. Yeah. Yeah. We like, you don't mind? We, we I'm gonna. It I'd before, like to play but... a little bit of Three of Libras while we're yeah sure here. Yeah. Just I'll put it kind of in the background if we can. Yeah. But Perfect Circle is my favorite band. So haha, it's my show. Oh, I can yeah, do man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're we're big fans of uh, anything like the the Maynard projects, you know, like uh, any of his. his I don't think he would be disappointed with this at all. This this is this is good. (laughs) I appreciate that, man. Thank you. There's a few people in the chat also. Um, Matthias. That bitch says, "Woo, who wears pants?" (laughs) (laughs) Bitches and uh, Matthias says, "Headbang all together, nice." Hell yeah, a nice song. And for, and for, for, yeah, for them. I mean, that sounds right. That sounds exactly like Maynard. Really. <laughs> I mean, like in your own way, it does it? You know. oh, thanks, man. So, um, I mean, I'm jealous, really, because I mean, that's just that 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 album, that album by Perfect Circle, uh, the uh, what is it? I can't remember the name of the album at this point. What's the name of that that Is album? Nerd and Arms. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah. I I, I I mean that that album is just terrific. The 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 entire thing, but just anything. If you can do anything from that album, it's it's terrific. And in that, <laughs> so I mean, I'm, should we tell what they're trying to be doing? Yeah. Should we say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. We're uh, we're very very soon going to be putting out um, a cover for Judith, so that's going to be really really cool. We're excited for that yes! one. Yes, let's go to Phoenix yeah. and see Judith. Are you going to do it live ever? Oh, probably. We'll probably play it live a couple times. Probably. We usually try to. I'll meet you in Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> meet halfway. That's got to be halfway. Right? <laughs> Arkansas. Eventually, I'm going to play there. Hell yeah! Mm-hmm. It's somewhere between Kansas and there. Yeah. Between Man, that's that, why, that's got to be difficult. Well, it's if you think about it, it's not really that difficult of a song. It's just that you've got to, you know, it's got to be good enough to do, I guess. I don't or good enough for you to release. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We, we were that's, we were that's, weirded that's, out because it, it's in a weird tuning, right? Like it's in a. It's, it's, in a, it's not in a super weird tune. Everybody 
I worked with people recently that were like, yeah, it's in like B drop, whatever. It's not, it's, it's not in a super weird. Tuning. They do play a weird, B. weird tuning. I know that. Um, and they talking do about technical really stuff, tuning. your guys technical in the production. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's, it's, it's breathtaking. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you. We thank put a lot of like time and effort into like the, I guess the the stuff that makes it it all kind of glued together and sound pretty because like we really enjoy that from the bands we listen to as well, you know. Yeah, we want to replicate stuff live as well as we can, but mm -hmm. like the most important thing to us is like, why release an album if you're not going to make it the most perfect, like best of you, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the live is about the energy and the performance and the, the album we want to be about the most production possible. Mm -hmm. the, the album's on purpose. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we I also I... will... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, we also uh, will never release an album that's not like some kind of concepty sort of theme, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I, I Lucas and I talked about it when we first started doing the project like there's no reason to release if you have a bunch of songs just release them as singles there's no reason to put out an album in our minds unless it's all a thing you yeah know, you can tell one big story with it like albums like the wall or um uh the adrift. black parade mm. by my chemical or, romance or like, drift, the drift. Two... yeah bo was saying a drift which is his album i have the thing <laughs> oh nice <laughs> oh and not to mention every tool album ever is yeah ever, you know <laughs> And Tools and maybe maybe the new one if it comes out in sometime in the next eleven years, uh, right? Right. Oh, maybe. Are they talking about a new one? I, they I they, they talk about a new one all the time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Yeah. It was I'm really excited to uh, get a new Tool album. Right. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, I didn't. I didn't enjoy the last Tool album. I, I really didn't enjoy it. It wasn't. It wasn't Tool to me. You know, like oh, a lot yeah, of, I, I think a lot of people felt that way too. It just wasn't. I think a lot of people did. Nothing catchy on it. Is Tool no longer cool? No, I think they're, they're still they're tools. The, they're coolest still. man. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, I'm obsessed. You can't, like, even the last album, I, I had it. It was the in my old car. It was the only CD I had in my car. Was yeah, it's good. So I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not ever gonna put down tool or. or no, no. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, they're they're freaking awesome. But like, I just couldn't get into that. That I mean, I have my favorite albums, but like that one's just. Right. I could not. I mean, even even. Uh, uh, like like Pussifer, some Pussifer I can't get into, but you know that's a whole. Oh, different yeah, I'm, I'm the same realm. with Pussifer for sure. Yeah, like, I mean, I, that's that's like a whole different realm than than Perfect Circle and Tool put together. You know, that's a whole different. Yeah. You know, good a thing Pussifer. he has a lot of projects. So you can really pick your cup of tea. You know, Andy has, <laughs> Andy has a, a wine garden thing like at his house. I had his wine at the at the uh, festival in Columbus a few years ago. Yeah, twenty five dollars for like this much. I had this much of his wine and it was twenty five dollars. <laughs> And I, I sipped on that for a good hour. It got until it got warm, and then it, I mean, it was, it was, it was, I better be having like it visuals was, if, I, if I'm drinking something. That I, I, I was, I was having Maynard visuals, oh. like bald head uh, shining out in the moonlight. <laughs> I, I met his barber up in northern his barber? Arizona. Really? There's a place in Jerome called it's just called the Pussifer Store, and that's it's his store and his personal barber has a barber shop down there. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can go in and you can just like get your hair cut by Maynard's Barber. Interesting. I want to go. It's super go cool. cool. I, I don't need yeah. to that well, I, I, found, I was Did you notice anything different about me? Oh, yeah. Just now? You've been here for how long? Two hours tonight? Yeah. yeah. I got here like I used to have a, uh, I used to have a, like a, I called it a half hawk because it got fucked up. A half hawk. It got, it got messed up. It, it um, yeah. I had a I had a half hawk, and I, I I messed it up this previous time, and I was like, you know what? It's time to start over anyway. It needs to be a full hawk. It, any hawk has got to be a hawk. Like a, it's got to be a mo. You know, you can't be, have a half hawk. It's <laughs> dumb. And it and the half hawk thing didn't land anyway. I mean, I, I was trying to start a trend. Really, is what I was trying to do. But half hawkers didn't unite. Go, didn't take. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. well, it was like the five finger death punch guy that has just like it's like a buzz cut mohawk. Yeah, yeah. I, mm -mm. I, I, I just. Aloha. Yeah. Aloha. 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 Yeah, yeah. Aloha. Like a, like a Hawaii, a Hawaiian hawk. <laughs> it's an Aloha. Aloha. If I got one, it'd be a Bohawk. Hey, uh. uh <laughs> bo um, that's hilarious. Uh, uh, my buddy Phil's in the chat room. Phil is in a band called Maintenance. Maintenance. Hey, they're from. Hi. They're from Yonkers, New York, and we just played a show with them. Our from very Yonkers. first show was with them. That was the last show I was on. Was got to talk well, it was to the Thanksgiving. Guys. He hasn't been here since Thanksgiving. We just figured that out earlier. I forgot <laughs> where Scott lived. 
Actually, you live you live closer, and you still forgot where I live. Weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and and of course, the the famous Josh the drummer made it to the chat from the phone to the chat. We talked to Josh on the phone earlier before we went. Hi, Josh. Yo, yo. How's it now going? Now it's now it's now it's Josh the guitar guy. Blogger. Blogger. Oh, That's blogger. Bob the blogger. Bob the blogger. Builder. <laughs> Bob, Bob the, the blogger. Bob the hey, uh, before I forget, real, real quick, I, for some reason I can't freaking I can't upload any stories on Instagram. For some reason, that's where I usually announce the next, you know, you know, with their music and stuff. I can't do it for some reason. It, it just it it'll it'll upload to seventy six percent and then it'll just sit on seventy six percent for like decades. So oh, I, no. I just so that's why I, last night I had to do the just a regular post, which is fine. Uh, but I, I will be posting after we get done with the show. I, I was trying to do it before before the show, but. It didn't upload. It got to seventy six percent and then didn't go on. Anyway, um, uh, I just booked a show for Sunday. Uh, Tom's going to be co hosting from London again. Um, uh, the band is is far from the shore and they're from Budapest, Hungary. Budapest. Wow. That'll be the twenty first country represented on the show. Wow! So That's looking awesome. forward to, to hearing them. They're, they're 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 really really good. I was listening to, to some stuff. I had a really good really good song loaded up for this story, and then it just didn't freaking upload so but I, w I will add that add that to the post when we get done this evening okay anyway josh says yo with a is that a top is that a, oh no it's the okay i was i thought that was a penis you said yo huh he said no. yo um okay so the the um the new song that we're going to hear tonight is, is is doesn't have a release date right no. it 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 uh mm -hmm. it's not released anywhere it's only the only place it's been released to is to me right well, and to like producers and things, right? Yeah. Um, I don't want to play it yet. I, I was I, I was getting people amped up, but I, well, you, I don't want to play told, it. You told me you burn like six or twenty copies for people. Well, I, I, <laughs> I was no, that's for later. No. Aside from the bootlegs, <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, it's vintage. It'll put be own, it'll be, it'll be worth something. It. Worth something. Um, now let's 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 wait and play that. We'll play it here in a little bit. I want to go ahead and do the uh, the segment with the landmarks. Okay. Now, I used, I used to people that watch the show uh, before uh, the turn, you know, the end of last year. Uh, I would do a wiener segment where I would talk about wieners and, and hot dogs. Sometimes both. Um, sometimes we would get in a big food conversation, especially when there was a thing about Detroit pizza. Who's better, Detroit Chicago? So the food stuff is over with. You know, that's I, I think I have a pretty good idea of where I can get good food in the United States or, or in other countries. You know, it's, it's it is what it is. You can get pizza and a hot dog anywhere, pretty much. Even in Straight. Budapest? I don't know. I, I'm not going to ask them because it's not going to be that. They they escaped it. So everybody that's, that's <laughs> been on since January 1st has escaped that episode or that segment. So, but but what I do now is uh, is landmarks, like unusual ones. So Phoenix is a, is a pretty well known city. I mean, if you don't know where Phoenix is, then you're pretty dumb. You know, what I mean, like right. Phoenix is a big. It's a big place. Somewhere close to there is the home of the London Bridge. What? Yeah, Lake Havasu. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's not in London? Not for nope. long. Tom lied to me. <laughs> they Tom moved it brick me. by brick. <laughs> Big right. And even brick. even made a little stream to go under it. That was man made. Well, okay, what, what? Mm -hmm. sure tell did. me the story. Mm -hmm. uh, or you got, somebody tell me the story. What? I thought the London Bridge was in London. Oh yeah. So uh, I don't I don't know the full story, but I know that I think it was a gift or something. But they basically took it apart brick by brick. No, and rebuilt it in Lake Havasu City. Yeah, so it's, it's that's the awesome. I, technically, I guess it's not the London Bridge anymore. Nope, <laughs> but it's all of it's Lake the, Havasu the Bridge materials. Sounds like but yeah, it's got this big sign that says the London Bridge. We play in Havasu, so every now and then we we drive over it, and there's a place where people put all their their you know when people how far is uh, and they how far is there. Havasu from you guys? Uh, three hours, yeah. just about. That's drivable for sure. I would do that all the time. It's oh, yeah. super fun because it's like it's like kitty corner to like Vegas. So like we we've yet to do like a leg where we do Havasu then Vegas, but like that's what we're trying oh, to set coming. up because that'd it's be coming. perfect, you know. It's yeah, coming. You guys so. got that for sure. And we then you got then you got to backtrack. You yeah. got to got to backtrack through Arkansas and then come to West Virginia and then you can circle back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to do something in the southeast eventually. Like that would be really fun. Oh, but we got yes, some do that. Crowd. Mm -hmm. Even perfect. though even though we're not in the Midwest, West Virginia is kind of like our Kansas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're so funny. You're so silly. No, no I, but I, I've been doing this. I've been doing this segment where where I just talk about landmarks, 
And but 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 the ones that aren't advertised for like tourism, or the ones mm -hmm. that are only known by locals. That and, and a lot of times it's it's you know stuff that's around town every day. For, and the locals don't even think it's any anything odd. But you know, other than the Turtle Boy in, in Massachusetts with Rose Lane, those that that was odd. This is a statue of this this boy that looks like he's pretty he's doing it with a turtle. I mean, it's, it's, he's behind yeah, that it. one. Is, it's in the middle of town, you know. I think he's supposed to be swimming with it. He's while supposed he's, to be while he's butt fucking it. Yes, I think that's, <laughs> that's pretty much what it looks like. And, and then at Rotterdam, uh, Rotterdam, they have they have a, a Santa Claus in, in somewhere in Rotterdam, and and uh, it's holding a thing. It's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but. It, it looks nothing. It oh, has, yeah. It's a giant it's butt plug is what it purpose. is. It's a giant uh, butt plug. <laughs> uh, I mean, these things are, these things are all, uh, it, it, but like, that's what's been trending is statues. It, statues are just crazy. I, I, I didn't ever think that there was statues that were just that weird. That's, it's, it's not everywhere. just statues that are trending. It's odd statues. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, yeah, it's uh, the shit fountain. Like we were talking about in Chicago, like i it's a fountain of shit, not of, not, not like real shit, but like it's a turd, sculpted, a uh, sculpted turd, basically. But it and, says shit fountain on the and there's fountain. A fountain around it says it. shit fountain, yeah. I think it'd be better if they dyed the water brown or something. Yeah. <laughs> Put some corn in it. He's onto something. Oh, no, gross. Oh, that would be hilarious. Uh, like I want to, I'm gonna like if I lived there, I would, I would eat lunch there. I would I've set ever, my food right on the fountain and eat right there. Make it a fondue. Chocolate pudding. Oh my <laughs> god. That a, sounds runny to me. Pudding fondue. Let's see what was the uh, 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 where Tom lives in, in London uh, in in Bromley part There's of no uh, UK. There's no bridge there, by the way. Yeah, I, I'm gonna freaking yell at him on Sunday. Uh, Where's your bridge and, at? Yeah, in the fog. Where's the like, confounded always bridge. Make, always make fun of him because of the London fog. Is, is you know it's it's not. It's just it's fog. It, there's fog over there, just like there's fog here. Just whenever. Not anymore. It's also in Arizona. Oh, they stole the fog too. They they, they, they have they a suit. Auctioned <laughs> all, they auctioned it off at Christie's at the London Bridge next year. Right? They did. <laughs> uh, but let's see. But there's a apparently there's a statue down down near where Tom lives in London. That oh, uh, they don't have statues there. I'm just kidding. I'll stop. What? <laughs> I was just gonna keep going. Oh, they don't have statues there anymore. They're also in Arizona. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna have any around here. But um, it's a it's a. It's a freaking elephant on a tricycle. It's in the front of this like this really nice hotel. It's an elephant on a tricycle with no head, but the head is like it looks like a bell of a uh, tuba. Yeah, big sousaphone. But uh, he That's said amazing. the kids throw trash in it, or he, as he calls it, rubbish. Oh yeah, rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. So there's that. Uh, oh, and then the middle finger in Milan, Italy. Yeah, that, I mean, there's there's so before I before I tell you what I found because I did find yeah. something that's statue esque. Right. Well, they are statues because it's a they thing. But what do you guys have that, that I probably didn't find? So it's not, it's not a statue. Um, I have a couple. So one, there's a haunted pizza hut. In, that in I was Iowa literally going to say that's the same like thing. kind what? of popular with people that live near the area. Glendale's like a not a suburb. It's like the opposite of a suburb of Phoenix. Um, but it's my favorite town. And there's a haunted pizza hut that's still like the old school pizza hut. What's, what makes it haunted though? So they say that in the middle of the night, the sink turns on for no reason, like full it's not glass haunted. turns that, on happened. in the bathrooms. Um, <laughs> they the said run. that they can hear a girl crying in there uh, when there's nobody in there. Who's they? Weird stuff like that. Oh. Uh, I guess the employees. Oh, some people oh so it's elderly. still a Pizza Hut then. Yeah, it's still a Pizza Hut. Okay. So, so what, what makes it an old school Pizza Hut? Describe, it's haunted. It's haunted. Describe that. So like you remember the, the shingles and the when Pizza Huts looked like banks? And they had the buffets, <laughs> yeah. and yeah, it's like an old '90s one. That's cool. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Presley says the Pat Tillman statue is pretty cool. The Pat, Tillman Pat Tillman statue. I don't know anything about that. I don't. I don't either. Tell us. Tell us more in the chat. I. I think I remember yeah, what it is. Tell us about um, it. Um, there's a the, the the what I found what I all the only thing I could find statue wise that was odd was there's there's several nude statues in Phoenix. Nude. Oh. Completely okay. nude. Like. There's there's a several in front of the courthouse. Um, I can show you pictures. I I'll, let me pull up the share screen here. I can show you what. Uh, did you Pat find Tillman the just looks like he's making a funny face. <laughs> he's like, ah, it's really funny. Love it. Oh, there's one up. Okay, let me let me go to my share screen here, and I'll uh, I'll I'll inform you of these. I'm sure you've seen them around town. You must have. You must have. You live there, don't you? Must have. <laughs> you must. You must. 
Let's see, let me fuck. Uh, um, where's the? I can never. I'm so like awful at, at doing anything on on sharing and and podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Our landmarks uh, in Phoenix are warehouses. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The most, like yeah, the well, most I think that's pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think we might be, we probably have the most Amazon warehouses per capita for like cities in the United States. Yeah, we're like a hub now for dis <laughs> can, distribution can you, centers. Can you see this? This this just like, yeah. <laughs> he's yes, just it's hanging it's loose. An old man. He's uh he's doing something. Now check there, me out. But wait, there's more. <laughs> check oh, me out. I I've never seen those before. This You've is never seen seen downtown before? Phoenix is where these places. Thanks. I mean, they're, they're, there's ass everywhere in Phoenix. Don't ever complain oh. to me that there's no ass there, okay? This <laughs> must crack me up. Yeah, this is really this cracking is in me Phoenix? up. Oh, I've, I've never seen, seen this before. Yeah, me neither. Freaking uh, hippie with his ponytail. Look at that. I mean, I was, that's what you're looking at. I'm looking at his ass. Look, he must work out. You know? Well, you can't see the baby's butt because oh, yeah. the mom's look the, covering look it. Look at the tit. The tit, even. He was talking about like <laughs> some statues quality and stuff, side boob. And I was thinking, like, well, that was, one, dude, is that the dude? Statues? I don't know. Like, that's the Encino Man. Oh, yeah. I remember on, the Mason on the one. strip, uh, you know? Yeah. Those aren't the strip. Statues. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, oh wait, yeah. There's some, there's, there's yeah, some that's, creepy that's all I have, statues but, in. But I mean, look at the ass. Hmm? Look at that. Ass. Chiseled. I mean, it's like it's chiseled. Almost like it was sculpted or something. Yeah. Wow. Hugely chiseled. Huge, very firm. That's very firm. So yeah, that's 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 what I found. Is that hmm. pretty good or what? That's uh, pretty yeah, good. That's great. Yeah. Um, you didn't I don't know. know you didn't know. You, didn't know. you you're gonna go downtown now and here when we're done and be like, all right, I gotta we gotta go check this out because if I live there. I'd steal that one. ass. I'm telling you that. I mean, just I'm, I need one of those in my house. I'd steal one. Um, I don't you, know if many people know that like uh, Phoenix has a, an elaborate system of canals and it's like how water gets uh, kind of moved around in the city and everything for like, uh, you know, businesses and all that. And it's uh, like infested with gigantic mutant carp that mm -hmm. like just eat all of the trash that's in the don't canals and stuff. There's like shopping yeah, carts and like half of a car in there. Um, it's not a clean canal. <laughs> you can smell it. It smells like fish and like like sewage. It's pretty gross. There's some oh, kind of mutant yeah. in there, I'm sure. Maybe so Ninja Turtle. Actually, I have two things. So one isn't neither of them are, are statues, but okay. one is that we have Frank Lloyd Wright uh drive, which he has so many houses there. Yep. And they're all which is so odd that cool. they called it Frank Lloyd Wright Drive. What? Yeah. Because he's yeah. a Wright brother. <laughs> <laughs> been no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Moving along, um, but yeah, he all of the architecture here from him is is super <laughs> rad, and I think it was like some of his later stuff. Um, but also, uh, oh yeah, he was his he... largest pipe organ. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah we did talk about that with uh, with Shadow Gill. Yeah, we we talked about the pipe organ. I think I told yeah. him. Yeah, that organ thing stuff? is massive. Organ stuff. Organ stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's I'll a whole building. That. Uh, so what's awesome. it called? Organ Stop? It's called Organ Stop Pizza. And it's like, like you, can go inside, like the shoes, you get pizza, and then there's just big room where he plays the organ and he'll play covers and like you can request songs. And there's like, also I've, I've a giant, a uh, there's, in the, is, there's like a musical instrument hall, uh, museum there. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. There's museum. also a giant, uh, they call it, it's called an octobase, but it's like a giant cello. It's giant. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you have to play it with uh, like a, like the, it's, you can't, you can't. It's the world's it's biggest like, double bass. It's huge. yeah, it's massive. It like it. It's there's a big fat guy on YouTube playing it. I was watching, way bigger than him. Even that doesn't matter though. There's always room for cello. What? Yeah. <laughs> that used Cello's to be the advertisement. Awesome. There's always room for jello. Oh, did it really? Yeah. That must have been back in. I don't remember. I'm, I always forget. I'm older than you. I just remember Bill Cosby. <laughs> I just remember Bill Cosby being on all his his jello ones. The jello pudding yeah, pop. <laughs> Scassum for Zoy. You used to do a lot of impressions on on the show here, uh, co-host, and I can't remember what they were. Like like several things. Me? Yeah. <laughs> well, Bo, Bo's Bo's show, Bo show, or Appalachian Hurricane, as they call it. He he he's a one man band. You know, looping everything's looping. Mm -hmm. It's it's badass. Like it's so much fun to watch. He does trumpet with his mouth for a solo in the middle of one of his songs while he's playing and don't. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's so it's, good. It's funny because I do the verse. And then the chorus for the solo, but I get done with the first part, which is the verse, 
and I take a little breath and people start clapping. I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, it's not over mm. yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like a freaking Louis Armstrong solo. It's crazy. It's, it's, That's so it's, cool. Just with his mouth. I, I actually based it off of a, I, I transcribed a Louis Armstrong solo and then learned how, no, I'm just kidding. No. Right. <laughs> sure. Uh, Presley also says, um, uh, only other thing I can think of is the giant baby of the 303. Yeah. Dude, what? The giant baby? Oh my that. god. The, yeah. oh, I'm into giant shit. babies. Oh. So it's like it's in this what? there's a bunch of farmland on the 303 uh freeway and okay. I didn't it was just erected one day and I was erected. waking up from a nap while we were driving and as I was waking up I saw this baby that's like it's like what 40 feet it's tall. It's huge. It's like at least it's like a I'm cutout of a baby that's, that's like holding a tractor and smiling really big. And it's scared a tractor. Shit like a real of tractor <laughs> like well, it's a no, the like yeah. the cutout, he's holding a tractor. It's like him like playing like, with one on the ground. It's like big enough it's to huge. hold a tractor. He's enormous. Wow. He's gigantic, yeah. I'm, I'm looking this son of a bitch up right now. I totally forgot about that. I don't know what, what, what company it's from. It's like an advertisement for something, but it's hilarious. Yeah, it's whatever farm that is. Duncan Family Farms. Yeah. Yeah. Dun I think, yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> There's a giant baby at Duncan, uh, Duncan Family Farms. Is the donut it's gigantic. Baby. Holy <laughs> shit. That's a <laughs> fat ass. That's a baby for sure. That's <laughs> a baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> it looks menacing. Goodyear. Yeah. It's like, it's in Goodyear. I got a tractor and a person. <laughs> so that's now a it's a uh, puffed marshmallow energy to it. Yeah. I don't like it. Is Goodyear, yeah. is Goodyear, Arizona named after the tar? And is it like in a pile of shit? No, yeah, that's it is actually. Is it manure? That's, no, no. Goodyear, yeah, it's, it's Arizona. Uh, where they where they started production, I believe, in, in I the United it. States was there. It's dirt there, bub. Oh, yeah, it would be dirt, I guess. It's dirt. It looks like manure. It's deer tay. Deer tay is what it is. I'd be grabbing a track. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bookmark shit. this website. I need to read all about that baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> that poor, so, so that basically, poor mother. Basically, though, um, uh, at, the end of, at the end of the year, I am going to do a, a, some sort of contest where you'll, you'll win something. I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with something to win. Uh, something that, that's, that represents your city landmark-wise. So it's up to you which one you want to... Uh, which one you want to use for yours? You want the nude, you want the nude people? You want? I'm thinking this baby. <coughs> this I'm going baby. giant baby. Giant baby. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will mark you down for that one. And then at the end of the year, we'll. I'm, I'm thinking just probably just like a big. You know, I'm, I'm going to send you guys stickers anyway. That's I always do that with every guest. It, every guest deserves stickers from the show. I'll show those <laughs> off later. But we'll uh, let's let's go ahead and play fading, which is the one that's not released yet. You heard it here first, kind of. A thing. Thank you for, for letting me do that. Uh, Absolutely. Tell us about this song and uh, when it might be released for the rest of the folks to have. Yeah. So um, we just uh, got it back from our producer a couple weeks ago, and that's why we're really excited to show people. Um, but it should be, we've got uh, an acoustic single coming out for All is Fair soon. And nice. so after that, we'll be when fading. Uh, comes out so it should be in the next month month and a half that you'll hear something about when fading is going to be released we don't I like to do a lot of pre-promotion for the the releases we kind of just hey it's going to be out and then you know there it is right. don't want to make people wait for too long mm -hmm. um, i haven't heard this either but, I, I i just listened to a snippet of it just a like a like three seconds just to make sure it was there you know that's it so I, this is my first time also uh well it's only a three second song so that no no it's a <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. As far as I know, it is. But, but yeah. Uh, what's it? Up? Do you want to talk about what it's about, or you just want to play it? And yeah, just yeah. It? yeah. Um, so uh, this this song was very much uh, written as like a. Uh, it's almost like I'm talking in the mirror to myself. Um, this was kind of loosely uh, based on like addiction, but more so like mental health and everything. Just kind of like losing a battle with yourself, trying to, to talk yourself out of things, and then falling back into old habits and stuff like that. So that's that's where this song. Uh, sits with me in my heart and that's kind of what what the lyrics are about so i uh, hope you guys enjoy the song love it thank goodness that's something hard to do though is to fall into bad habits back into bad habits that's mm -hmm. it's so hard to do that is it i'm just kidding no it's not <laughs> <laughs> you ruined the moment sorry maybe i don't know <laughs> no the moment the moment will the moment here this is the moment of fading by arsenic kitchen and it's not out yet but it will be soon so if you want a copy, it's 50 bucks. Uh, I'll put my link for Cash App in the 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we get five of those dollars, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll split it with you. Yeah. gotten any attention from labels because if you God. haven't if you haven't i'm i don't have any powers but i'm going to send this out to somebody because 
I don't know how I don't know how you guys aren't signed in in on on your way across the country doing a major tour. I really don't. That, that's Man. so good. Your I mean, I know it's not out yet, the but orchestration. I mean, orchestration. My goodness, the orchestration is, and the blend of the of everything is just it's it's so good. Thank you guys. Thank Seriously, you. that's that's that needs to be that needs it, this stuff needs to be f further than it is. You know, some, yeah. somehow it's <laughs> further than it is, and it's it's that good. It's that good. We really, really say, appreciate that because, you know, we, we actually entered a, we entered like a, a radio contest just recently and we basically got the same message from them. Like you guys got something and like you just you need do, to get yes. in front of the right people. And like, that's what we're trying so hard. And to it'll do, happen. So, it'll you. happen soon. It'll happen soon for sure. It, it's, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I mean, I, I have, well, I've had 255 other guests on the show and I mean, my, I might've said that maybe 10 times. I mean, I have a lot of good bands on here. Don't get me wrong. I've got, I've got a he says it, he bands. actually says that. Bo's to one the of them. Bo's no. <laughs> no, 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 no really. This is the best town we've ever played in. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> San Fran Diego. I did, I did when uh, when when maintenance was on though for the very first time. It, it was for Thanksgiving and um and and nobody had ever like been sitting at a table eating anything on the show at that up to that point. Oh, those guys and I was like, crazy. you guys, this has got probably the top three of the, uh, of these types of shows. It was you guys, you know, <laughs> they were the only ones. They were crazy. <laughs> They're awesome. I, I met them in person. They, that thing kept showing up in their, the dildo. Oh my God. That was, uh, they, they, you don't what the know, heck was that thing all about? You man? don't know this update though. So the dildo was a big, so <laughs> the very first show for the Thanksgiving show, they, they, uh, they were testing out their camera and they didn't know that I was on zoom yet. And so they turned their camera on, and there was a giant dildo in the middle of the Thanksgiving table, okay? Giant, okay? So then they, they, they shut the camera off. Well, I didn't, I, I, I waited, because I didn't, I hadn't even met him yet. And uh, they came on, they came on, on Zoom, and, and we, hey, nice to meet you, shit like that. Okay, where's the dildo is what I wanted to know. Because it wasn't there anymore. It wasn't right where it was, you know? <laughs> I called it, I called him out. So that, that's been a big, that's been a big, it's been a big thing. No pun intended. Um, but so I, I had him on again. Um, of course, you know I, I talked to him throughout the year. You know after that, but then uh, they were on again this past Thanksgiving, and they had they had I don't know if it's the same one. They claim it is, but I, I, it looked a little bit skinnier than what I remember. Was it this girthy? <laughs> well, it's because they were it about to head out on tour. Yeah, that's something like that. But yeah, they uh, but they moved it around the room as the show went on. It was the free, it was like, oh, yeah. it was like, where's dildo? It could stick to you the know? wall. <laughs> yeah, it's suction, it's yeah, where's suction dildo? guys. That's hilarious. But, uh, That's but, hilarious. but, but here's the kick. Here's the kick. So I had, I, you know, I've always send them send, uh, stickers and merch and, you know, whatever I have, you know, for the show. They, I never purchased anything and they've never sent me anything. So they mm -hmm. sent me a, a, no pun intended at all. A, they sent me a big package. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, they could send me a sweatshirt, a maintenance sweatshirt, a maintenance T-shirt, uh, a few stickers, and a giant dildo. Oh my god! And they all signed it. Oh my yes. lord, that's crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say, it, please say it had the logo like down the shirt. I, I had to hide it because my cat kept wanting to play with it, and that's just weird, you know? <laughs> yeah, <Yep>. no thanks. <laughs> I couldn't. I mean, but so so when we we cats had, need maintenance. They yeah. Well, they came down. They came down from New York and played a show with us, and um. Uh, we came back to the house here, and that's I had, who was here. Was that those guys? Maintenance, yeah. Man. Son of a bitch! Yeah, I forgot fucking, about that show. Dumbass! You, you I forgot. Idiot! I, I did that to another friend of mine. I only posted <laughs> like six hundred times. But um, but uh, so I had my friend Tracy make make some food for everybody for after the show. So so we all came back here, and and I hurried up and got back. And before they came inside, I, I went and got the dildo out of the the drawer and stuck it to the side of the refrigerator. The, the dildo drawer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where else would I put it? So yeah, I stuck it right side, right right to the side of the refrigerator, and and that was the, that was the focus of the night. <laughs> Next to the mixing spoons. <laughs> yes, in, in the uh, in the latex gloves. What? Yeah. And the Crisco. Oh yeah, the, well yeah, I mean that's a given. That's always on the counter. Lube, if you will. <laughs> Jeez, I, I miss you, Bo. You gotta come. So I'll see you in a couple months again. No, I live way closer now, and I remembered where you're, you live. You're a busy. So you'll never uh, get rid of me now, motherfucker. <laughs> you're busy. Guy, you're a busy guy, Bo. I'll, I'll let you plug plug what you're doing now for, for with you. And okay, I've got some couple shows lined up at here in this area, at Jacoby's. Jacoby's. May 25th and June 29th. Is that an Amish fellow? 
No, it's oh. not. It's a little boy, a little little like toddler. <laughs> That's it is. It's, they well, named him after. It's not a giant baby. After. I know that. So. No, it's not a giant baby. But um, and then um, I'm working on some stuff at the Empty Glass in Charleston. We got some stuff oh, brewing. I've been. I played. I played all, every Wednesday in October, November, and December. You're doing that again. I don't know if I can handle that, the, man. That what was, was the, that then was I, what you I, Then I had, by 8, 10 the next morning, I had to be in front of kindergartners. And I didn't start. Oh, that was fun. Man. I didn't start each night till 1130. They and, knew that. They knew it all along, those kids. <laughs> My daddy looks just like that. Well, I, I, I would get, <laughs> I'd get out of sleep deprivation. I'd get the worlds mixed up, and I'd be in front of kindergartners. I'd be like, don't forget, I've got some CDs and some T-shirts. <laughs> and <you> no. yeah. <laughs> Tell your parents. Tell your parents. Uh, and then in the bar, I'd be, I'd be like, I said, down on your bottoms. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's hilarious. And then um, Aristotle and us, we were playing at the- Robin Aristotle Jones. And at Appalachian Soul Band. We're playing at, at Robinson Grand this Saturday, April okay. 5th, the Clay Center. Um, Clay Center? Yeah. Like and in giant... and, and May, we'll be playing at uh, Madison Square Garden, yeah, um, right. okay. Shea Stadium. Yeah, whatever. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Red Rocks. Red Rocks, yeah. Yeah. The Berlin Red Wall. Robin, open open it for Robin. Dave or is Dave open it for you guys? Dave Matthews. See you guys at the local Chili's next week. <laughs> yeah. See it all, Garden. More like here, it's more like, happy 4th of July. Thank you for coming, Walmart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to get Aristotle back up, on the show. It's, he's, it's, he hasn't been here since the one-year show, and that was... He, he won't do it. Why? Because he... He's, he's that that bastard has a podcast. That, he hasn't even invited me. You've been invited to his, and I haven't even been invited. That's a bunch of crap. No, he he does he, <laughs> what that is. I've had other okay, podcasts. Dude, either. <laughs> I, I will I will force him to invite uh, our Senate Kitchen. Yes, <laughs> sir. Before even before me, I would. You, I got, would, you guys will have to write some horn parts for our horns in our in Aristotle. Well, don't make it too don't it. make it too horny though, because. Uh, I don't think they're, 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 our horn section's called the Appalachian Horn Dogs. They've got their own logo and everything. It's That's awesome. They're they're oh, pretty fun man. fun dudes. They're the same age as my children. Is there a shirt I can buy that says that? There will be. It's very soon. I need it's one coming now. Out very soon. Is there an Appalachian Hurricane shirt I can have? Uh, did I not give you one? No, you. I feel you, like we've you, always you, had this conversation. We always have, and you've never given me a shirt because I ran. I sold out of extra larges. Or can I you wear a large? Do I look like I wear extra large? I'm a tiny person. I will give you the shirt off my back, right? In a little. That bit. one looks in a little bit. That one must be a few X's. I'll, I'll bring you a new one the next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. I kid. I kid. The app bow latching hurricane, yo. Uh, what what do you guys have coming up for you? Where are you playing next? Where uh, are you? When will you be? Arkansas, uh, the, east, the, east, east, more we, eastern than you are now. The possum. The most east <laughs> that will be. <laughs> the most east that we're going to be anytime soon is June 9th. We're in San Antonio. That's not east enough. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's close. But so <laughs> we're doing closer. a southern Arizona run and then a New Mexico run. March 29th, uh, we'll be in Tucson. The 30, 30th will be in Bisbee, and then 31st in Tempe. Be careful um, in Tucson. April, That's a wild place. Yep. It's a wild place. <laughs> we know it. Oh, boy. I broke uh, down in Tucson once. April will be in New Mexico. Uh, 11, 12, and 13 will be in Albuquerque, Gallup, and uh, I think El Paso or <laughs> Santa Fe. One yeah. of the two. Nowhere near here, then, basically what you're saying is what you're no. saying. Mm. Nope. Man, it's so good to hear that you guys play live a lot, though. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. We do, yeah. We do. You get, We're you trying get. to get uh, very east by the end of the year. We're hoping <laughs> for September or October. When it September gets to my birthday month, is when so. we're going to be there. September is my birthday month, so make it September. 26th. Wrong. <laughs> but yeah, if, if anybody's watching and they, they like are in the area and want to see a show, uh, you can probably find like our show dates that are going to be updated and stuff at arsonicitchen.com. So, yeah, and send us a message. Let us know you want us to play. And if we have enough people to I send did. us a message, we'll book I a show. <laughs> they, reply. <laughs> they reply. Instagram is so, is so much better. I, I, I started the show on Facebook and did it on Facebook Live, you know, and, and, and I would, you know, message bands on Facebook and nobody would respond. It was horrible. I think my first show mm -hmm. was on Facebook. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and, and, and just... Well, it took it took Facebook six months to realize I was playing copyright music, so on, that was on them. But <laughs> that's why I'm not on there anymore. But but Instagram has, has changed the the pretty much the show. It changed the show because I, I'm I'm able to reach out more, and bands are more receptive to their messages on Instagram for some reason. I don't know what it yeah. is. 
But they are, they 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 are, and and not, it's just. It's, I think you have to work a little harder as a fan on Instagram to contact the person, and so not really. I mean, or, or maybe it's a, more direct, so the more people are like, oh, the I two, don't. The two hundredth episode of the show, I had Dan Skiz from Power Man Five Thousand, the guitar player, and he answered my my message directly. So I'm, awesome. I think I think it's just I've, I've talked so to Saint easier. Vincent. What the chick that she can play some tool? Are you sure it was her? Yeah. Well, one time it was, and one time it uh, wasn't. Bot. It was a bot. Like it, it was. It was. Uh, uh, I think it was a, a cartel. She asked <laughs> you for uh, Amazon gift cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need you to go to the store and and give me the codes from the yeah. Yeah, um, we right. definitely we've been doing lives on YouTube for quite a while, and we found that as soon as we switch to Instagram and TikTok, it's like we do it on YouTube, and by the end of it, you know, we've got about a fourth of our our followers that have even seen it. But if we go on TikTok, it's like immediately people start coming on because yeah. it just notifies people so much better. How does do they flag you for playing your own music? I know that sounds weird, but it happens. You know, it, happens. Um, it does right happen. Time. I still fight with our distributor. Mm -hmm. um, everything's white flagged labeled whatever on yeah. on the uh distributors site i guess it's a good it's thing still but still it sucks it, yeah every yeah. now and then we'll post something and it'll it'll uh be like your your thing was flagged for copyright or yeah. the sound was removed um one of our albums just doesn't exist on instagram anymore which is super weird <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i really i weird. you know i i, I explore options you know after the facebook thing you know I, I was like well shit what what, what am i gonna do now and and i actually got it i was i was in a a live chat with uh somebody from bmi because i was i was researching how to get like a, a license like a radio license or you know, to be able to to uh play music on my show and and this this lady was like uh have you tried youtube i'm like because i didn't even think about that you know and i was like no and she goes well they they'll cover your as long as you don't monetize you know and i don't you know i'm not monetized so yeah, I was like, so that's yeah. that's where I've been since episode forty. Easy you know? that way, yeah. And you know, I, <laughs> I would love to to play, you know, to be able to do these on every platform. I, I mean, who wouldn't? That would, I would, that would it right means so much attention, but I just can't. And I would, I would much rather showcase the music of the guest. You know, mm -hmm. I, I want to showcase music of of bands that I'd like to have on or or I've already had on, which I do an intro and outro. You know, and and uh, and then when I'm talking to you, let's take a little breather and and play your music so people can hear it i mean that's the that's what a show should be you know mm -hmm. yeah so and, I, and you know i think personally on. like you know the the youtube side of things too like if you choose to stream anywhere else it is always nice to like see the the backlog of those streams on youtube so if you ever miss something yeah. you can go back and watch them or something like that so that's sure. my favorite so yeah i did when the world first opened up after covid after covid <laughs> um, but it, um, th this food truck wanted to have an event and have me play. So was I mean, it the farmers they, market? No, it wasn't at the farmers market. <laughs> but um, we, uh, I checked. I said, well, we better check with the local health department. Big mistake. And they yeah, said they they said, well, he can't be there live because there'll be people there. But he can do a Facebook live. So and, those people and can be there, but you can't be there. You you that you can do a Facebook live and then uh, project it onto a screen. Yeah, that sounds like fun. And so <laughs> I didn't know how we would do it. And I said, I'll either be there in three dimensional or like two dimensional. Man. But I ended up having to do it over Facebook live. And I said, that's the only time I've ever been the only person who wasn't allowed at my show <laughs> yeah, really. while I was performing. <laughs> oh that's goodness. awesome. That's so I, weird. Okay, so that's so wild. I, I I have this idea that, that, <laughs> I've, been, that I've, yeah. I have this idea <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about, and this is actually the first time I've really kind of talked about it on the show. But I'm I'm wanting to do a uh, not not a spinoff. You know, Keep Me Alive is always going to do do what it does and be the be the main thing that I do. You know, but I, I want to do a a like a pre recorded. That's dumb. Audio, or maybe might be video <laughs> also, but but it'll be a, it'll be a podcast. But it, about pet peeves, you know. And oh. I know I know there's a shit ton of those shows out there. I know there is, but I need to do this for myself to, for therapy because there, like, there is. I get a lot of shows like that. Rage, right? What? There's a lot of shows. There's, like there's that? shows for everything. I can't even. I can't even. Every name that I think That's of is a taken. Great idea for a show. Every every name that I've thought of has been taken. If you Google that, like whatever name you come up with, and then put podcast after it. Get the fuck out of the way if you're in the hammer taken. lane on the highway and somebody's going faster than you. I'm sure it's taken. Pull like, over. It's, it's 
or something like that is taken it's too similar you know so that, that i mean it's just like coming up with a band name is you, you can't you have to find something that nobody else has but like <laughs> but 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 the topic i don't really care the topic is still going to be pet peeves because i need that for me but it, it'll just be me and somebody else and it'll be pre-recorded so that way it'll, it can be distributed replace know? the paper um, in the copier when you're fucking run it out, yeah, it's just God shit, damn like, it! Like like things that are common, like even just common sense topics. Like, okay, the on ramp of the freaking interstate is not for you to go 35 miles an hour and wait to be merged in. No, yeah. it, accelerate. It, it's, it's an assumption that the 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 traffic that's already on the interstate gets in the farthest, farthest left lane if they can to let you in. That's the assumption, and those yeah. people are dumbasses too if they don't get over. So like shit like yeah. that, you know what I mean? So that's we're like retirement I'm central. So there's a lot of 573 year olds oh. that oh, just I know. sit on okay. the freeway. Okay, here, here's the thing then, since you understand that. So I think that at a certain age, maybe at a retirement age, you should have to retake your driver's license 65. test. The entire thing, the entire test, not just uh, not just go get it renewed. 65. Take the entire thing like you yeah. did yes. 70. Years old, right? I would do it. I mean, I would, but you know, it, it's never going to pass because all the people that would pass that, that, that had the ability to pass that are all ancient and they don't want to go do it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't drive themselves anyway. I don't know why they care. Exactly. Drive Miss Daisy is what they do. They should, I, 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 I think I, I, George Carlin had a good idea back in the day. He had all the good ideas. He said that, and way before any of this technology, he said that cars should, you should be able to type a message that pops up on your rear window. Rear. Yeah. So when you, when you pass somebody, you can leave them a message like, oh, that's, you, yeah. you drive like old people screw. Slow and sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, not to mention, like if you if you you know travel around for like ten minutes and surprise out here, there is just like an abundance of golf carts being yeah, driven around on the drive. actual streets. Yeah. On the actual streets, they will just drive their golf carts around, and I'm like, in, I in the fast lane, literally in the fast lane. I'm sure and, too, and right? you know they're in probably the at least half wasted, or yeah. they're, they're, they're yeah. five hundred and uh, like a billion years old. I mean, everybody's yeah, going to get old if, if you li I mean, if you're if you live that long and, and you get, you know, things deteriorate when you age. That'd like be badass. Eyesight, so like you're hearing. That'd be badass to be able to drive people, a golf cart. People that, around. people that are older drive slow as hell and and they need to re get get retested because I bet you the majority of them would not pass to get. Re you know, <laughs> no, no, no. I've seen There's people no way. like it's a really common thing when you go to any of the grocery stores. I came out from getting coffee this morning and this lady was like struggling to get one grocery bag in and then, probably like, almost ran you over at the same time right yeah and then she couldn't like she she was getting in her car and she like missed where to get in the door because she couldn't see it very well and i was like why are you driving oh my god you're about to die <laughs> my point my point exactly if you're on the road you probably are too because <laughs> yeah. she right? will kill you hey oh I, I got god. these i got i got some stickers i want to send you guys out some stuff okay um uh, these, yeah, these oh, are yeah. These are uh, these are new because the logo is, is new since the first of the year. I, I changed everything. I've got a new website cool. thing, so I'll send you guys out some stuff. Uh, this is uh, Can you this just is type our, our, our home address in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it up on YouTube there. Um, yeah. This is uh, this is our, our band logo. Deviant Causes band logo. It's transparent, so make sure you put it on something parent so you can see it. Sure. And oh, yeah. um, if uh, if you so it's trans. It, it yeah. Well, I got I have to go with times. Okay. You know what I mean, so um, the <laughs> what. Oh, I, I know somebody. I got has a I got tatted. I got tatted. So did Bo tonight before we started. These are temporary tattoos. I will send you guys. Okay. Some temporary awesome. No, they're not. They're real. Okay. They're real. real. Okay. That's cool. Temp tattoos are. We got awesome. the, the. I will the send you guys logo. some temp tattoos to uh, to support at your next show. <laughs> and uh, these are exclusive to members only. And by members, I mean like Patreon. But I don't go through Patreon. I, I go through my website, which is acutemanylive.com. So if you like the show. Get on there and, and go all the way to the bottom and it says learn more or or support the show or something like that and click on that. You can subscribe get on all YouTube kinds of free too. shit. Huh? You can subscribe on YouTube also. That actually helps me more than anything. I am I'm subscribed. I'm I am very I'm very close. I'm at four ninety, it says, unless I refresh the page, but I'm at four ninety. Ten more, that I mean five hundred is a good number. I like that. I will do a celebration number. something for that. I will send everybody yes, sir. Free, free tits or something. No. <laughs> free I will, I will send everybody a copy of fading. From Arson to Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get it tonight, complimentary. <laughs> complimentary. Hey, I, I didn't pay anything for it. it it's fine. It's not, nothing out of my pocket. Yeah. Collect and trade. <laughs> I will not do that. I, I will I will save this 
in my library, as for my much listening as we've ears, joked and, about it, these guys are going to be real nervous now. They'll be watching around like I, I'm no, not. No. We have my, to watch every my episode word. now. I, I, like, is he I, showing it to other people? No, I, I had <laughs> I had uh, I had a very good band from from Augusta, Georgia, on Monday night called Sunbreak, and they were gracious enough. They sent me their entire EP that's not even out yet after the Damn. show, and I was just joking about that. But they and it's, it's phenomenal, and I have it, and nobody else has heard it. I, only I've heard it. And uh, that's that's way it stays. When when people give me their stuff ahead of time, and it's not meant to be, it's cooler that I'm way. I'm not one of those people that, that says, "Oh, okay, well, guess what I got." No, hmm. exclusivity is. I even had a video. Bomb. I even had a video from Curses. Uh, they they used to be shot, signed to Sharp Town, but now they're they're they went back independent. But um, they uh, they actually played with Sunbreak the other night. But but they sent me their their entire music video that it was like a week ahead of time. They sent they sent it to me and. You know, under contract, they, they weren't allowed to even give it to anybody, but they gave it to me just because they know that I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't show it to anybody. Not one. I mean, I told people I had it, but pff, I ain't going to fucking do it. You know, that's that's like a mm -mm, no. I give my word. That's my you word. You should have a like a pre-release party. But I am going to listen to it a, several times because I, I you know, I wanted to listen, to listen to a lot of things in it. You know, it's a very good song. Very good. Very good track. I like it a Thank lot. You. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys much. need to come back the on the show and come come east. Further east than than where you're, you know, your east 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 this time. Mm -hmm. That's that's the goal. Um, <laughs> they're, they're, you will you will get you will get attention. You 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 already got my attention and I'm Bo's attention. He, Bo doesn't even listen to this style of music. Well, really, all dude. all is fair in love and war. Um, but 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 that, that this song, is either and you're a bitch. And the, the I like <laughs> I meant to say earlier I really like the lyric. I thought it was wildly original i've never heard this lyric oh, thank you man and he's he's talking to this the lady and he she's crying and he says your tears taste fake yeah i did like that too mm -hmm. oh that was killer that your tears that says so <laughs> much about that situation well, it's, and it's, you and her it's, like, say, it's, it's oh. saying things that she's not even or he or she is not thinking of themselves your tears are you know they taste fake uh-huh and you can't think of in an argument with that person either you know that's that's what it's saying that's mm -hmm. what it says to you so, it's kind of like that's oh, what lyrics are. Oh, They're just ooh. words that you wish you could have said during the fight. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we can we do this again? Because I need to read these lyrics to you. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Never mind. Here's a song. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, just 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 listen to it. It's you'll get you. You should get it. You should get it. Exactly. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for being on. It's, it's been fantastic talking to you and and an enjoyable conversation. Whatever we talked about, a bunch of statues hey, and ditto, babies and babies and naked yeah. statues. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Phoenix sounds awesome. They have great weather. Yes. yes. There's slow go slow golfers and golf carts and cool music <laughs> venues <laughs> and a haunted pizza hut. I mean, what a, a haunted haunted pizza yeah. hut. Where could you ask for? I mean, <laughs> you know, there's a there's a uh, what was it a, a Pat Tillman statue that we need to go see. Where I live, there's a, a the, the little Caesars. Caesars has a leaky roof. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than the Walmart because you know. I don't know. Hey, there's a there uh, another band that, that played with Sunbreak and Curses last week before I had Sunbreak on on Monday. It was Arsenic think, Kitchen. No, 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 that's them. That's I know. Them. Oh, um, uh, a band called Lumen that I would love to, to talk to, and uh, they saw. This is kind of how I get them. Like if, if I play the intro and outro of somebody I want to have on, I'll tag them, you know, on Instagram, and boom, next game. <laughs> you know, sometimes, oh, yeah. not all the time, yeah. not all the time, but. But L Lumen saw it, and, and, and I told him I'd be in touch with him about being on the show because I, I would like to um, talk to him. I think they're from Augusta also, Augusta, Georgia, where the Masters are, is, are, however you say that. Well, I mean, they're okay. Who? They're not Masters. Did you know that Augusta, Georgia is the uh, the birthplace of pimento cheese sandwiches? I didn't Ew! Know. <laughs> Ew, burn it down! Oh, I know, yeah. Uh, um, puke! This is a little known fact that Athens, Georgia, is the birthplace. No, of Georgia's. Well. I know, but Athens, but Georgia. But I'm not talking about Athens, Georgia. But it's close to to it. It's right there in the same state. Okay. Um, it's the birthplace of uh, intercollegiate naked cat woman. What? Okay. What? Words you have to push back the couch and the bed and stuff in your dorm room and like kind of like a. We, we, like we a, can't even get really get into like the whole pillow thing fort? right here. Is it kind of like a like a like a fort like a pillow I, fort? I can't talk about it anymore. We're right. like trained vaudevillians. It, it's just it's we'll, too we'll much. We'll do it on the next show. It's too much. Speaking of the next show, Sunday at uh, I'm, I'm I don't know where to go now. I'm I'm like my mind completely went blank. <laughs> He's a flashbang of in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he does this all. He does this all the time. Well, he used to do this all the time, and he, you're back. <laughs> I'll have to rethink this next time. Um, <laughs> I love you, Bo. 
Sunday, Sunday with uh... oh, hit wait. the mute button. You are. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna wait for him. He's, he'll he'll get over it. <laughs> All right, I won't do the thing. All right, are you gonna change the thingy, Mahoot? I always change the uh, the marquee when I'm done. What's it say? Bo? It says Arsenic Kitchen, Arsenic number Kitchen. 200, show episode number 256. I've, I've done you a favor. I've, I've, I've pre, pre got the letters pre'd out there for you. Do you have a seven? But but you're going to have a tough time with this, but you're a teacher, so you shouldn't have that much. It shouldn't be that tough. I teach elementary, man. This is it's like I'm... Well, <laughs> it's a pretty elementary show. Um, uh, far far from the shore. Far, far from the shore. Make sure you put the in there. The shore. Far from the shore. I Not, thought it was far from the shore. Nothing to do with Polly Shore. And it and change the six to a seven. And uh that will be Sunday from uh there from that's yeah, I know I just I just shaved my head. Remember I told you about that? Holy crap, dude. I don't think it was well that's no, that was from another region. Um <laughs> It's a hair, he's pulling a hair out. Um uh, uh Budapest Hungary. Budapest. Do you guys know any Hungarian people or any Hungarian language? None. Nope. nope. Awesome. I need to keep searching. I know somebody from Lithuania. I don't think that helps. But uh, Tom, Tom will be on from London uh, co-hosting with me. He's a great friend of mine. What are you doing? I'm fixing it. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no. he's, he's, uh, he's making... <laughs> That's funny, actually. No, well, you got to put it on the camera. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenic pantry. Hey. Arsenic pantry. Pantry. Oh yeah, pantry. That, yeah, arsenic pantry. I didn't, I didn't get those letter out. Letters out. But, man. Next time we will. Next time. Next time you guys are on the show, I will put ar arson panties or something. I don't know. But arson, panties. <laughs> arson panties. Poison closet. Poison All closet. All right, you got it ready. You have plenty of time. We have like four minutes. But thank you guys again for being on the show. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Of course, man. Thank Come you. back. Come back soon. And uh, if, if you if you have any any if you get anything where you're might be. This far east, let me know, and I will let you know good places to play. I don't have any pool anywhere, but I can let you know <laughs> places to play and, and good bands to play with that. locally. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah. uh, I look forward to, to the next song coming out. I mean, I have the one, but yeah. <laughs> some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. That won't be the next one, so you'll, you'll nice. get to hear an acoustic one first. Nice. Yeah, I do want to hear that. I do want to hear that. Don't send me that oh, one yeah. at a time. I will wait for All that. Right. Uh, but yeah, Sunday with uh, 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 what was it again? Far from the shore. I was making sure you knew it. Far from the shore, at uh, that'll be at four p.m. Eastern. Since they are six hours ahead, six hours ahead. Tom's five hours. Yeah, or no, I don't. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think it's nine p.m. their time. So four p.m. here, and then yeah. Do the math with your own time zone if you'd like to watch uh, the first band from Hungary. I might have to sit here with like a big bunch of food or something, you know, so I don't get hungry on the show. Some turkey. <laughs> yeah, some turkey. <laughs> Put it oh, in man. grease. Put it in grease. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're, just a, you're just a guy, aren't you? All right. <laughs> uh, Lumen uh, and the song. Okay, we, we were talking about this before we went live. I think it's Ava Rice. Is that right? Or how'd you, you guys said you have a Avarice. lyric. Avarice. Avarice. What does that mean anyway? What does it mean? It's like uh, it's wanting. Uh, it's basically like overwhelming uh, greed, or uh, like uh, basically you, yeah, you really, you really like money. You really, you will do anything for it. I do like money. Deal. I do money. Money. Money's money, like money, the. Money. It's specifically like the sin type for it. It's like greed, sinful type thing. What? That's what that describes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here's Lumen. Check it out. If you guys want to chill for like a little bit, I, I'd like to talk after the show. But if you have to go, I perfectly sure. understand. It's cool. Uh, here is Lumen with. Yeah, we, we have practice. We'll, we'll we'll probably be heading out. But thank you guys. It was nice. Thank to you. Hang out and everything. Thank and you, you guys are awesome. I, I will talk <laughs> to you guys very soon. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. I will Bye. see everybody else on Sunday with uh, Lumen and tomorrow. Tomorrow night I'll be in Pittsburgh with uh, with Guides. Guides is playing and riding with Killers, which is uh, some members of Taproot. And uh, uh, for those in question, and Threaded, and I will be backstage talking to all those folks and bothering the crap out of them. And uh, so I might do some live. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But here's Lumen with, with Ava Rice. That's, that's what it looks like Avarice. to me. So. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Have Bye a guys. great night, guys. Yeehaw, brother. Can we get out of here? Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs>